beautiful people we're back and i'm gonna say i'm actually impressed or sort of shocked so we're back in the uh creek Briar house with uh the bathroom and look at the bathroom here let me put the thighs um there's actually a lot of space in the bathroom we probably should have taken some before and after photos before there's a little tiny closet or shower that is actually a closet there was a hot tub here if you recall and matthias is standing over there in what was the other closet there's so much space and that's a toilet which lets me know this bathroom was poorly designed from be from the yeah, beginning because exactly. how many square feet is this this looks about 15 by 17 so 350 square feet so and they yeah. completely wasted this sort of shitty design yeah, yeah. So Matthias, what are we looking at and what are we going to do here? Um, so we took everything out. We're going to end up needing to remove this floor, uh, chipping it out. So the best deal probably would be to run a chipping hammer to get that. Um, we're going to take all these lined water lines out. These are the two main lines. I'm going to cut them right here tomorrow morning. And then uh, my biggest concern is, nope, I have no concern whatsoever at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right here, actually, where it says three quarters of an inch. See that three quarter inch pipeline? Mm -hmm. That three quarter inch is we're going to end up bringing it all the way to the new valve here. Um, the beauty of that is three quarter inch is going to give us the right volume for the right pressure. Yes. So um, the good thing is it's three quarters right there. We don't have to go farther back to get it. So we'll bring that all the way to about right here, because we're gonna make this uh, shower seven feet. So the shower's gonna run about this deep, right here, and four feet wide. So about right here. Mm -hmm. So- That's a nice size shower. This is gonna be right at the edge. I was thinking about making it five feet wide, because you know, that's the full circle, but that may be a little too much. But four feet by seven is gonna be beautiful. Nice size. We can walk in here, stand up, move around. I'm putting plywood on these walls, plywood on these walls, put a niche on the left. Explain the to right. the people why the plywood. Um, I'm actually putting plywood first, then I'll put Duroc. Because uh, in the future, when mom is old, maybe 10 years, maybe 12 years from now, there may be an event where we need to attach special brackets, some kind of motorized device, um, something on the walls. And they probably need to attach them one, two, or all three services. If we're gonna do that, we're getting backing for it. It's easier now just to plywood the entire wall. If we need anything in the future, we can easily attach to any mm -hmm. spot. The plywood is purpose is for anchor for anchoring. Right. It's and backing for anchoring. Um, we've done it in houses where people want to do it on the entire um, wall. You want to put pictures all over the wall. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about where a stud is when you do that. Just to interrupt, it's most helpful and useful for TVs and mounts to yeah, have <laughs> to have the, the entire wall have uh, some have a, some plywood on top of it because then mounting your TV becomes amazingly easier. Excellent. So that's about it. Do we incur any new expenses? Um, well, you see this bullshit up here? No, what is this bullshit up here? This bullshit up here was the previous soffit they did. Uh huh. The plumber was so fucking lazy that instead of running the plumbing right through that beam right there like he was supposed to, uh huh. He came out and go around. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to remove all the plumbing anyway. This is why it didn't really matter that much, but this pipe right here, which is the uh, drain pipe, um, we're gonna have to stick right through that stud properly so that we can cover this over and get rid of what was this soffit. So this will, the wall will be flush, the wall will be and flush. all of this, whatever this is, won't be hanging out anymore. Cause that, once that piece of, uh, what is that, one inch, two inch round PVC inch. goes through those two by fours, then everything is inlaid and flush in the wall. Right. So we'll have a vertical surface that looks like this wall, right? Right, right. And because, the seat, because we're bringing this over to here now, we're gonna end up needing to put one big vanity here instead of a double vanity. Mm -hmm. It'll be much sweeter. Oh, uh, we're losing a couple of feet here. Yeah, we're losing some Because we're, ex we're extending the, let me scoot back. So there used to, the shower used to be there. It's now coming out to 
about right here. Um, and if you're wondering what these black spots are, they're little pieces of glue. That's mastic. Uh, for the mirror that was up there. They didn't actually break the mirror when they took it down. I was rather impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's outside. That was impressive. So here's the bathroom. It's got a lot, a lot of space. You'll see more of it to come. Um, fuck chipping up this floor. It's loud and obnoxious, but it has to be done if it has to be done. So that's it for the moment. See you guys in the next episode where we're going to figure out what the fuck he did with the kitchen appliances that are now missing from the wall that he said was going to stay there. But that's for another, that's for the next episode. Till then, peace.